Image, David Layden, NEAFL The Brisbane Lions have triumphed by 47 points in the NEAFL Q Clash, to leave the Gold Coast Suns with their first loss of 2018. Brisbane had control for most of the day, but the 12.1183 to 5.636 was mainly on the back of a very good third quarter. The Lions were able to get some ascendancy late in the first quarter, to kick the only two goals of the term. The Suns kept in touch in the second quarter, with the Lions taking a 16-point lead into halftime. In the third term, the Lions made the most of a strong breeze, kicking out to a 47.3 quarter time lead. Two Max Spencer goals in the first five minutes in the fourth quarter gave the Suns a small hope, but this was short-lived with the Lions later kicking two of their own. It wasn't all bad for the Suns, who were missing three of the better players from the first two weeks. Kalamachi was very good in his return from a pre-season hamstring injury, with 14 possessions, 11 of which were contested, in limited minutes. Gold Coast Suns development coach Aaron Rodgers said it was pleasing to see Achi back onto the field but lamented their contested ball work. He, Achi, gave us some spark in the area we were deficient in, that contested ball, Rodgers told goldcoastfc.com.au. We'll just be getting back to our bread and butter which is contested ball and tackles. That's our brand and what we value so we'll get our head down and bum up in that area and try to get back on the right side of the ledger, he said. Next week the Suns play their first game on the coast for the year at Fankhauser Reserve, Southport. They will take on Sydney at 11 a.m. on Saturday, April 28. Brisbane Lions v Gold Coast Suns at South Pine Sports Complex Brisbane Lions 2.64.8-10.10-12.1183 Gold Coast Suns 0 5.636 Goals Brisbane B Star Sivic 2 J Barrett 2 R Bevic 2 J Walker 2 B Sloan R Matheson O McInerney C Beams Gold Coast M Spencer 2 E Baru C Beeman T Bowie Best Brisbane M Eagles S Mays B Star Sivic R Matheson T Bell J Frost Gold Coast C Achi C Ballard J Leslie A Hall